why did an all-powerful God let them experience suffering in the first place? It's the same second. question that I have no, for no, no, like no, no, it's real simple. Art. The all-powerful God chose to partially limit his power by trading us free. There's a problem within your logic though. What's the problem? Let's look at the one where like the Pharaoh gets his heart hardened by God. God intentionally hardened the Pharaoh. How and many times before that happened? Also How many times before that happened do we read Pharaoh hardened his heart? Seven times. So God in Exodus, the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. We read Pharaoh hardened his heart. Jesus talks about an unforgivable sin. The sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which is, if I flip God off, reject the Holy Spirit drawing me to Christ enough times, I will become so hard to God, I won't hear his voice. Again, there is a logical inconsistency within your claim. To say that God has the ability to, if he wants, change or harden someone's heart means that he is inherently going against free will. Also, no, to it say does that not. It You're does. misinterpreting. Also, also, the fact that God willingly gives you free will and limits his own power, there are a multitude of people that are born each and every day who have no capacity to perform like free will acts. People who are born with like neurological deficiency, right? right. right? They don't have free will. Yeah. And God allows them to live on this planet. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And if there is no God, tough luck, no God, kid. They always have but if there will. is a God, and if the Bible speaks the truth, mm -hmm. then you've got to acknowledge that child is born into an unfair messed up world. So the Bible insists, life is unfair, God is fair, don't get the two mixed up. Life is unfair, because we human beings have flipped God off, but God is fair, his character is good. Don't get the two mixed up.